This video tutorial is a step-by-step walkthrough of some typical question styles that you'll be encountering while taking a situational judgment psychometric test. The following questions are from our free situational judgment test, which you can take before or following this video if you so choose. The Princess Aurora has recently been suffering from a high turnover of nursing assistants with many leaving to work at the privately run Sunnyside Hospital and Rehabilitation Clinic on the outskirts of the city. In exit interviews, leavers have stated that by leaving they are hoping to increase their pay. Some of the leavers also mentioned that the attractions of the private hospital are its scenic location and its great range of staff facilities, including use of an indoor swimming pool. You have been asked to design and run a recruitment campaign to attract and appoint 10 new nursing assistants and trainee nursing assistants to the trust. One of your measures of success will be the staying power of the new recruits. You have four weeks from now until the date that the interviews for the nursing assistant candidates will run. The crux of your problem lies in trying to retain staff. Many staff members have left stating that they wanted more pay and that in other places had better facilities. So we need a campaign to entice staff not just to join and then leave, but to join and to stay longer term. Okay. Review the following responses, A to D, and indicate whether you believe the response to B, the most effective response, the second most effective, the third most effective, or the least effective response. So let's go through the various responses and assess each one as we go. Place an advertisement immediately in all the relevant local media and online. Then spend some time designing a shortlisting process which will identify candidates with the sort of values that will translate into loyalty to the NHS. OK, well, as we said before, we need to retain the staff, not just hire individuals for them to leave quickly. Now, the shortlisting process will certainly help with retention. As such, this is the second most effective response. This is a reasonable approach. However, it may be better to avoid wasting your time on sifting through hundreds of unsuitable applications by spending time drafting the advert to allow candidates to self-select. Ask your colleague in the HR team what the process was last time the Trust recruited nursing assistants and follow that plan. Though we haven't yet gone through all responses, this is highly likely to be the least effective response. This does not show any initiative or way to improve upon the previous process which failed to attract and appoint candidates who have loyalty to the Trust and the NHS. A change is required. Work back from the date of the interviews to establish when you might need to advertise the post. Use the intervening time to use your judgement in drafting an advert to try and attract people whose values mean they are more likely to remain loyal to the NHS. Now this seems to be the most effective response. You are keeping the final deadline and deliverables in mind, but also attending to some things that might help you hit your key success measure of retention. This method seems effective with this in mind and considering the alternative options. Ask local recruitment advertising agencies for advice on drafting an advert to attract the kind of people who are less likely to leave. This is not focused enough as a solution, but not completely aimless. It is thus the third most effective response. You may receive some good advice, however, seeking this help could impact on the time available to place the adverts, process the applicants and shortlist to meet the interview date deadline. This will also involve cost. With these responses in mind, we can thus place them in order from most effective to least effective. C, A, D, B. Thank you for watching this video tutorial. We hope it's been helpful. Best of luck with your test practicing here at Assessment Day.